Hey everybody, Mark from the Geek Church here, and today we've got another J5 Create product with the uh, JCD 3199P. This is a USB C dock, 4K uh, USB C dock, dual 4K HDMI, uh, with a 140 watt GAN PD 3.1 power adapter. And yes, I'm just reading that, and yes, I don't know what all those mean yet, but we'll be opening it up right here and trying it out. Right after this. Okay, nothing to it but to just open her up and let's see what's inside it here. So, yeah. Um, this appears to be. Oh, hey. Uh, this is a. Okay, it's a USB C dock and it's got a lot of this stuff here for it. And. This is it uh, right here on top. And I'm seeing a lot of uh, ports here. Uh, it's always good to have a good docking station on here. This looks like it's a wireless charger. And what is this? Is this actually, is this? Wow, okay. Is this uh, end anytime? All right, let's just plug it in, see how it works. Yeah. Okay, it's in, not bad. Okay, so what else do we got on here? Okay, before I check on here, I just want to make sure that we're working here as far as a wireless charging uh, thing goes here. Huh. Uh, hmm, not really seeing that uh, so far. Uh, it's just plugged into my laptop, really, uh, so I didn't expect full power to it. In fact, it probably has a cord in here that I probably should have accounted for. Okay, let's talk about all the ports, though. I mean, we have a, looks like a power in of some type. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is a headphone jack. <laughs> and then we have, uh, what is this, this for the post? Uh, USB-C for sure, right here. And uh, then we have uh, some SD card readers. Uh, something on this, can't really tell what these holes are. But we've got two USB-A ports here and USB-C, along with some Ethernet and HDMI, HDMI, and power in. Maybe that's what we should have gone for. I might include this cable if you're not going to have a power in and stuff like that. Interesting. Uh, let's check it out and see. Okay, but first I want to just uh, get rid of all the stuff in the box. I'm seeing like um, interesting things here. This looks like it's meant to... Uh, there. I saw some holes on here. I'm guessing this attaches here and then you can kind of attach it to the wall or something. Okay. So, oh, I know. Duh. I should have figured this out earlier. Okay. There's probably a way to fit this thing together. Uh, hmm. uh, let's see. Actually, can we just do this? Am I doing this wrong? Oh, uh, boy. Okay. No. Hmm. Yeah, cut. Oh, okay. Is that how that works? You know what? We're going to figure this out and do this later. Okay, so in uh, unpacking this box, um, I discovered that there's uh, some interesting things in here. One of them is the uh, charging cord, the other is this brick thing. And we're going to plug this in to see if we can't get it to work. Let us just charge this wireless phone at least. And then, yeah, hmm. fun stuff. Okay, I have this plugged in the wall. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any indicator light or anything like that to uh, say that it's on. So let's just try charging. Uh, yeah, we got it. Okay, so we got some uh, more or less charging going on here. I'm assuming that means all the other functions work. I'm gonna try out a few things though. Uh, this isn't the only dual HDMI thing that I'm going to be reviewing this week, so hold on to your hats. Okay, I think the best way to see that this uh, is working properly is there is an SD card slot right here. So I have to have an SD card right here. So all I got to do is just like what, plug it in, and then my computer should recognize it, and it looks like it does. But just to be on the safe side. I'm going to make sure those files, yeah, there they are. Okay, so if those files are there, we're good to go. Not bad. This looks like it's capable of quite a bit, and we're definitely going to have to talk about it a bit more. Uh, but first, 
Can we make some sense out of this? Yeah, it looks like this thing just clicks together, which I am glad. So yeah, this is how it's supposed to work here. Uh, these things kind of... slides on like so. I can't believe how hard that was for me to do. Uh, man. Okay, so it is possible to store it like this. Okay, we're going to write more about it, but for now, if you just want a price, it's $189.99 on the J5 Create site. It looks pretty decent. So, yeah, now you know where to get it at. We're definitely going to write more in the article and the other J5 uh, products that we have here. But for now, this is Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.